All right, guys, hello and welcome to the Fraser Hat Yai Show. And today I'm on my way to Vietnam. I uh, just arrived in Bangkok Airport and um, I'll be taking the next plane to Ho Chi Minh City. I uh, just made a little mistake though, I just realized I forgot to get a re entry stamp. Um, if, you ever ha if, you have, if you have ever had a visa before in Thailand, uh, the majority of them are not multiple entry, they're single entry, which means um, if you leave the country without getting a, a uh, re entry permit stamp, uh, your visa will be uh, not valid. It's not a, your visa will be automatically cancelled once you leave the country and um, yeah, you need a new visa if you want to come back. So um, that kind of sucks, but uh, apparently you can get a re-entry stamp uh, here in Suwanapum Airport, so uh, I'm going to check that out and hopefully you can. If not, I'm going to have to apply for a new visa to come back to Thailand, which is going to suck. Alright guys. Uh, that's it for now and uh, I'll see you later. Alright guys, so got my bag now, um, just waiting for a promotional stand and I've been waiting a while so hopefully it turns up. So I found out that uh, the re-entry permit place has moved and I've got to um, get a check-in first. I just tried to check in and uh, they see I, I'm only going to Vietnam for four days and they say I can't check in unless I've got a flight out of Vietnam. Um, and I always do things last minute, it's the way I like to do stuff and I haven't booked an out of flight yet. And uh, um, the guy I'm going to see has booked all my tickets for me that hasn't booked the out of flight yet. So uh, I'm going to have to go online and book like a bus ticket out of Vietnam, a cheap one or something, so I can show the paper because uh, he won't let me check in without it. Stupid rule, but uh, welcome to Asia. All right, guys, uh, I'll let you know how it goes and uh, if I'm able to check in. All right, guys, so I found a website. Um, I'll post it up here. Uh, it says that you can book a fake ticket for ten dollars uh, so I paid and uh, it's just been sent through uh, in an email a fake itinerary and uh, hopefully that will work and get me uh, get me the ticket apparently what the company does is they book a ticket really fast and then uh, cancel it within 24 hours and charge you ten dollars and they make a profit doing that so hopefully that works uh, I just booked it now I'm gonna go and try and check it now and hopefully I get in one eternity later all right, guys. So that worked. Um, I'm all checked in now. Uh, they even typed the booking number into the computer, and it came up as my name. So great service. If you ever need an outgoing ticket, check that out. Um, I've got an hour and a half now. I need to check in. Uh, I need to go through uh, customs. I need to apply for and get a non-entry, sorry, a re-entry permit. Uh, so the re-entry permit used to be out here. Now you have to check in first, and then you apply for your re-entry stamp. So uh, I'm still in a bit of a rush, uh, I've been annoyed about that, but uh, we've got it solved now and uh, I'm going to go through customs now and leave Thailand. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Uh, so they've moved the re-entry permit inside now. See, it's just over here. Uh, it costs 1,000 baht for the re-entry single and 200 baht they charge for a photo. Anyway, um, 
couldn't be a bit cro close now, but um, looks like we're gonna make it through. All right, so finally sorted everything in out, um, checked in now, ready to go to Ho Chi Minh. Um, it was the last five minute run across the airport. Um, as the Vietnam, Vietnamese gate was right at the other side of Suvarnabhumi Airport. Funny thing, why is Suvarnabhumi spelled like S U V V E W, but yet it's pronounced Suvarnabhumi and not like Suvarnabhumi or whatever? Anyway, random question. Um, so yeah, um, everything's set now, and I'll see you guys when I'm in Ho Chi Minh City tonight. Alright guys, just arrived in Vietnam now in the taxi and um, just heading to the hostel now. Alright, before I get into that, let's do a quick cutaway and uh, I'm going to explain how you now get the re-entry permit stamp in Bangkok because, well, things have changed. Things always change but they mixed it around again uh, since the last time I was in Bangkok anyway. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm in uh, Ho Chi Minh now, also known as Saigon. Um, got myself a tourist SIM card, got myself some money exchanged. Uh, the rates seem pretty good. Um, pretty clueless on the money, even though I've been in Vietnam four times now. Um, I still can't remember what it's worth because the values are so ridiculous. I'm a millionaire now and I've only changed, what, five or ten thousand baht. Um, so yeah, um, I'm staying in a hostel. Uh, the reason I'm staying in a hostel is I'm only in uh, Ho Chi Minh for one night. Then tomorrow I fly to Buma Tua to meet uh, one of my friends that I'm doing business with. And um, yeah, I thought if I'm only here for one night, might as well stay in a hostel. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to meet some meet some people in Ho Chi Minh and uh, and yeah, and chill out so that I'm not you know bored in a hotel room on my own. Um, so yeah, it took took a long time to get here. Um, I arrived super early at Suwanapum Airport, and I thought that'd be great because I'd be able to get the non-entry visa done quickly. Then I had that issue with uh, with having to generate a fake ticket in order to uh, uh, get checked in. But anyway, I'm here in Vietnam. I just made it. Uh, I arrived at the gate literally just as they were boarding. So anyway. Um, looking forward to trying the food. Um, I do enjoy Vietnamese food. There's some really awesome food here. Uh, so I'm looking forward to having some good food tonight. Not only Vietnamese food. Uh, in Vietnam they do a lot of Western food really well. So there's some great kebab places and, uh, and Indian food places too. So I uh, have to try and check that out tonight. And tomorrow morning I'll be in Buôn Ma Tuat. Alright guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, it's the first time talking to myself in a taxi. I wonder uh, what the driver thinks. This guy's some kind of nutter. Anyway, um, okay. All right, guys, arrived at the hostel. Um, kind of regretting booking a hostel now. The whole idea was uh, so that I could meet people, but I'm arriving in the middle of the night anyway. But the hostel has a bar, so I'll check that out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is the first time I've stayed in a hostel in about 
over five years, six years. The last time I stayed in a hostel was in uh, Australia um, when I was backpacking around Australia uh, about five or six years ago. I've not stayed in a hostel since. I thought I'd try it again. I've never stayed in a hostel in Asia. In the past, I've never really seen the point of staying in a hostel in Asia when you can get a hotel for so cheap. Um, but I thought, just one night, let's try it out. Uh, the bar looked interesting. This place had good reviews. Uh, it seemed pretty cool. They gave me a little personalized note when I arrived. It gave me a little bit of information of the area. So uh, this is called the Hideout Hostel in Ho Chi Minh. So if hostels are your thing, check this place out. It's not too bad. Uh, at least the room is relatively clean and it doesn't stink. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out and get some food. Uh, have a couple beers. And then probably get an early-ish night because um, I just realized my flight's earlier tomorrow than I thought it was. Alright guys, so that's it for today. Fraser out. Day. Good morning everybody, I'm in uh, Ho Chi Minh now, I'm just at the on the rooftop of where I'm staying, they have a, a nice free breakfast on the morning, uh, Vietnamese coffee, mm, really good coffee, I do like Vietnamese coffee, and then I uh, like a breakfast, which is like a scrambled egg and uh, a baguette. Alright, so this is the breakfast this morning, it's kind of just like a, a baguette with um, a little bit of scrambled egg. I'm just gonna cover it in this chili sauce. All right, uh, but it does look pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, last night I joined on a pub crawl, but I didn't stay out too long as I have an early flight this morning, 7 a.m. now, and. Uh, getting some breakfast and then head to the airport to go to Bumatuit and uh, meet with some of the contacts that I came here to meet with. Alright guys. Uh, Alright so it's kind of funny that they have uh, free breakfast in the morning from 7 till 9 uh, when this is a party hostel and they run bar calls and stuff. Uh, so last night I got in at 1, 1 in the morning but uh, in an eight bed dorm that was full, I was the first person back in. Uh, anyway, came up to breakfast this morning. It's getting close to nine now. I arrived here when, when they started breakfast. Got a couple of coffees and uh, yeah, as you can see, nobody came. Out of a hostel that clearly easily has more than 100 people at one time, no one person came for the free breakfast. So uh, they're winning there. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, guys. Just arrived in Bun Matuit now, and uh, all right. Uh, a sign that you're traveling to a good place is when you're the you're the only foreigner on the plane. Uh, so really small airport here. They've only got one plane in the whole air uh, in the whole airport here now. So uh, should be good. All right. I'll catch you later. One eternity later. 
Alright guys, so I'm in Vietnam now, I've been here a day and a bit. Right now I'm in Buôn Ma Thuot. Buôn Ma Thuot is in the highlands of Vietnam, in Dak Lạc province. Uh, and it's where the best coffee in Asia comes from. Uh, in my opinion too, the coffee else is really good. I don't know what they do, they ro roast the beans with hazelnut or something and other things. Uh, it's a totally different coffee experience, so um, definitely try it out. A um, <coughs> little bit hungover this morning. Uh, I was drinking uh, pretty late last night with uh, with some of the guys that I want to be doing uh, more business with, and um, yeah, pretty good. Um, I'm quite impressed with what's going on here. This is a small town in the, the highlands of Vietnam, but it's crazy how much development's going on here. Um, we've got new schools opening all the time, um, a lot of construction, a lot of projects. So it looks like in future. I'm going to be needing to recruit a lot of teachers uh, for this area, which is good. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be, film, be able to film while I'm here in Vietnam, um, just because it's not really appropriate to take my camera in meetings and uh, things like that. Um, but uh, I'm staying at a little, cool little resort now. Uh, the guy that I'm involved, uh, the guy that I'm working with here in Vietnam, uh, actually wants to buy this place. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool place, uh, they got like a lake, tennis court, um, like places to eat on the, on the side of the lake too. So yeah, pretty cool here, nice little resort, um, I think I'll be moving today, I might be going to Ho Chi Minh tomorrow, uh, I've got some people to meet in Ho Chi Minh too, so, uh, I only just arrived in Boomer to it, <laughs> flying from Ho Chi Minh to Boomer to it's pretty crazy because... It's literally the quickest flight ever. They say, okay, we're gaining altitude, gaining altitude. As soon as you've gained altitude, they'll say, okay, prepare for departure, <laughs> prepare for landing. Well, now, we're, now we're heading down again. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, pretty close. So, we're gonna, if we go back, we'll be driving back um, to uh, Ho Chi Minh. And we'll see how things go from there. Alright guys, uh, I'll try and get some more footage and some more interesting stuff as I go along and until then, I'll see you later. So what they are.